Okay, here's a crazy contraption that I uh, put together to try to measure heavy water. And uh, what it is is just uh, some kind of uh, unusual glass work thing that I found at a secondhand store. And then we have a uh, one of these beer densitometers. And we just put regular water in there. And uh, let me refocus. So here we look at the meniscus and it looks like it's floating about one. And remember heavy water should be about ten times as dense. And we did put enough water in so it's floating. See, it's we'll bob it up and down so it's it's really floating. And uh, <clears throat> so this is our reference. Let's see where is that say one? There's one right there. And so we'll try to uh, put some stuff that we think is heavy water in there and see if it has a different density than one. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so here's our moment of truth. We got through distilling our heavy heavy water and this process that we're trying to test out to see if it's making heavy water. And uh, here's our density test. We got our beer barometer into uh, it's the only container that I could find that was uh, some kind of weird thing I got from Goodwill. Very interesting coil thing in the middle, but anyway, it's got to be tall enough to hold that barometer thing. And let's just pour some of our, let's see if we got heavy water into there. Let's see if we've increased the density of it at all. This has uh, been distilled. like let's take a closer look at our beer barometer thing so it's floating off the bottom all right and let's take a look up here and looks like the density is still very close to water still in the blue range. Now let's just add a little bit more water to it so it's easier to read. Okay, let's we'll fill it up here and make sure it's floating good. There, so it's definitely floating now. Now let's take a closer look at this guy. Okay, so the meniscus is pretty close to 1.0. Okay, so we did increase the density of the uh, water by trying to make it heavy water. It is not significant. But anyway, if we did, this would be a simple way to measure the density and see if we're making progress toward heavy water. Heavy water is a great fuel for nuclear reactions and uh, fusion energy. And uh, we'll keep on trying, although it's very rare. It's only about one part in 7,000. So it's, uh, it's, it's hard to separate it. Most processes except for uh, electrolysis have a very low uh, separation rate. Okay, so it looks like this experimental process for separating out heavy water did not work the way I was hoping it would. So anyway, back to the drawing board. If it, at least we have a device to measure the density if it does. Okay, let's just uh, test our densitometer to make sure it's working properly. And so, what we're going to do, that other stuff I was using was distilled because that's the proper way to test it. But um, we want to see if this thing is working and measures density. 
changes in density at least. I can't have this calibrated very well by doing this method. Let's add some water in here. Until we get it floating, it's got to come up to a certain level to float. Okay, and there we're bouncing off the bottom. Let's take a look down here. Okay, see? It's uh, not touching the bottom. And, uh... Let's refocus here. So, there's a density of about one. So let's just try adding some salt to it and see if we can make the density go up and measure it. Okay. Okay, so here I have a bag full of salt. We'll just add some salt to this. And if you saw it a second ago. That blue part was pretty much underwater, and now it's up uh, almost to the green part. So we are measuring a change in density by adding salt to the water. Okay, so I think our densitometer is working. Okay, I added a whole bunch more salt. I poured out a little bit of water. And now if we look up here at the density, we are... Now the density is significantly above the blue mark. The green mark is significantly sticking out of the water. And so, see we can test it's floating, okay? Bouncing up and down. And so that's... That's, uh, how much increase in density is that? Oh, uh, let's see. Okay, so that's 10% right there. 1.1. 1 .1. And so this is about 0.02%. And so if we had that much uh, increase in heavy water, it would be significant. We'd be increasing it from like about one part in uh, 7,000 to about one part in 100 or something. One part in, is that right? One part in 10, actually. Because it should increase to up about 10% for uh, pure heavy water. So now at least we have a uh, some kind of a way to measure to see if we're making progress. So we'll keep on working on the uh, heavy water and hopefully we will uh, be able to get a, you know, heavy water is a great thing for uh, fusion reactions. It's a great source of power. And, uh, we're all inter interested in alternative energy, so hopefully we can get some good sources of alt energy going. And uh, this is Dr. Janes, and thanks for watching.